then the person starts to get more relaxed too, what I'm working on. So just do some rolling, a little bit of rolling. Put your, put your hands in here, close to their neck a little bit. A little bit more. Uh -huh. And you've got your hands on the top. You've got all the fingers on the top, not the thumbs in the back yet. All the th including the thumbs. And you're just shaking them up a little bit. Just some nice, gradual, relaxing movements. Remember to keep breathing. And if your client starts to tense up on you, then just shake them a little bit like this. Relax. Relax. <laughs> That'll remind them because people's muscle memory, like they want to tense up against you and you don't want that. You want them to uncork. So. Now, do some squeezing with your thumbs on these shoulders. Oh, I've got such a good camera girl today. Here we go, Shannon. What's your name, camera girl? Shannon. Shannon. I know a Shannon back in Utah. All right, now move your way out a little bit and squeeze their shoulders or deltoids here. These, this is the deltoid muscle. Delta is triangle, like the, the air line. And your deltoid muscle is triangular. Everybody take a nice deep breath. Okay, now move to one side and keep one hand on the shoulder and use the other hand to squeeze the neck muscles. Now switch sides. Two of you can join if you want to come over here. Yeah. Yeah. And now, feel underneath the occiput, which is the, the bone that's on the back of their head. Feel, get right up underneath there like that. Yeah. Stir. Right up under here like this. And see, you can also hold their head with the other hand. so you can get good leverage because leverage you know when you get in tight you got strength when you're far away you don't have strength stay tight and get into your body into the best position for doing the work okay now stop stop there and brush them off a little bit and this is like a if you did some pretty deep massage, and I know you really did, then, <laughs> then you're going to make nice. You know, you get in a fight with somebody and then you get back together and you make nice. Well, you're going to make nice here and let them relax now, for a second. So we're starting like this, doing some cir circular motions. Rhythmic, very rhythmic. Use your nails, use your nails. That feels really good. Now, move your way to the back. And feel for the protrusions on their skull, okay? Feel for the places where it's sticking out a little bit. Because those tend to be the places where it's going to be sore. And if they're having like mental tension, headache or something like that, then they can get these sore areas on the top of their head that all they need to do is work on themselves. Stroke. And then you can get even more smoothing it out like this.
and you can change speeds, okay? This is what makes a massage just awesome. And then slow down. Okay, so what you want to do is dig in there with the fingers and get a nice even grip on their hair like that and pull it evenly. If you pull just one area, it's going to hurt. It's not going to feel good anymore. But if you pull it all like, really evenly, then it should feel really good. And that's pulling the skin away from their forehead or their skull. And um, it just feels really good. Creating movement. Okay, try that. 